wanted to address something that I come across a lot where the idea of different body positions when dipped, when doing dips, work either triceps or your chest more. Particularly, like I hear this a lot where people are like, well, if you lean forward more when you're doing dips, that's more in the chest. If you're more upright, that's more triceps and so on. This is, I think, a similar case to the argument of if you have different hand positions and pull-ups, it's creating radically different tension patterns in the body. And over time, I've come to believe that this is more a consequence of our mind is thinking there's a bigger difference than there really is, and therefore it's moving tension in different muscles when it really shouldn't be. Okay, so case in point, like theoretically, having a tilt or straight up shouldn't really make any real difference at all because the movement at the joints, particularly your shoulder joint, is the same for both. The range of motion may be a little bit different, but in both cases, you're coming down and you're flexing the shoulder forward while extending the elbow. Doesn't matter if you're angled forward or upright. But if we're telling ourselves that there's a difference, then it's kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy where the mind is saying, well, this is supposed to work the chest more, so put more tension in the chest. And we think it's about the angle, but it's really more we're thinking about the chest and making tension go there. And if we come up and we're like, that doesn't work the chest so much, and we're not putting it there, and we may be putting more tension in the triceps, and again, we think there's a difference to our angles. The big lesson, again, as I've always been harping on, is tension is something you should control with conscious thought, not necessarily just small little technical differences in your exercise. Yes, there is going to be a difference if you make some small change, naturally, but these changes shouldn't be nearly as big as we're often thought they are. You should have chest and triceps working like crazy, no matter how you're doing dips. The biggest thing that is a factor between these two things is shoulder no mobility. Are you able to come down uh, very low with your arm back, or do you have to lean forward in order to get your body lower? Uh, if that's the case, then you may find that you need to just loosen up and stretch out your chest, your pecs a little bit more to get a little bit more upright. Having a slight angle forward can be more comfortable in the chest, more comfortable in the shoulder joints, so that can be good for you. And it's not like one is right and one is wrong, it's about finding your own natural rhythm of how you dip. The only thing I will caution you against is watch out for this idea of like leaning, of like moving yourself way forward when you're doing dips. A lot of times it's a company with legs coming backwards where you're not so much going down but way forward. And this I think contributes to a lot of the shoulder issues and stuff and is definitely a sign of a lack of shoulder mobility as opposed to going more straight down and letting the elbow bend behind you. So some food for thought for dips. Let me know if you have comments or questions below. Be fit, live free.